You've invested in your pump. Now it's time to protect it. The key wrist system gives you the right tools to remove the impeller without damaging the vanes or pump shaft, preventing those costly repairs. Plus, the key wrist system is safer. By using the key wrist wrench, your hands don't get cut by sharp edges due to process conditions and damaged impellers. Key wrist stands for Key Impeller Removal and Installation System. We offer two kits for your ANSI centrifugal pumps, one for the closed impellers and one for the open impellers. The closed impeller kit comes with three wrenches which fit the seven most common sized pumps. Plus, the kit contains a three-piece input shaft socket set to fit all three ANSI standard input shaft sizes and their keys. Additional wrench sizes can be custom made. Let's take a look at how to use the key wrist system on a closed impeller pump. To get started, remove the coupling hub and key from the pump and set them aside. Select the correct size input shaft socket from your kit. You can choose between Group 1, Group 2, or Group 3. Next to each socket, there is a proper size key to match the pump size. Place the key on the drive end of the shaft, then place the socket on the shaft. Now you'll choose the closed impeller wrench that is the right size for your pump. Line the wrench up with the impeller. Using the impeller wrench protects your hands from coming in contact with sharp edges. Using your other hand, grab the knurled section of the drive end socket and lightly turn the socket to ensure all veins are engaged. Apply either a one inch combination wrench or crescent wrench to the squared head of the impeller wrench. While keeping one hand on the wrench applied to the impeller wrench, take either a one inch combination wrench or a crescent wrench and apply it to the squared end of the drive end socket. Then manipulate the shaft the opposite direction of the impeller wrench until the impeller disengages. You can now remove the impeller wrench. Using the knurled section of the socket, you can loosen the impeller safely until you can remove it from the pump shaft. And now you can continue with pump repairs. When your repairs are finished, you simply reverse the process. Install the impeller with a new impeller gasket onto shaft and turn the input shaft socket forward until the impeller makes contact and is snug. Now use the impeller wrench to engage the veins, using your combination wrench or crescent wrench to fully tighten it. Remove both wrenches. Take off your input shaft socket and key. Now you're all done and there's been no damage to the critical components of the pump. The key wrist system provides the proper tool to safely disassemble and assemble your ANSI industrial pumps. It's specifically designed to distribute pressure evenly to the impeller to allow even the tightest fitting impellers to be removed without damage. No longer will machinists need to use inferior tools on the pump which can cause damage and distort the impeller or pump shaft. Damaging these critical components leads to imbalance and vibration issues, which cause premature pump failure. The key wrist system is the right tool for your job. It's safer, easier, and cost-effective.